We didn't know what to do. We kept taking her to doctors, to specialists, and they just kept saying, oh, she's beautiful, you know, there, she's young. And nobody would want to make that statement that maybe Kayla had autism. Autism is on such a rapid rise that more children this year will be diagnosed with autism than AIDS, diabetes, and cancer combined. I think if you have a child with autism, that's your mission. You're constantly looking for a way for them to connect to the world. To know you want to smile, but to not be able to, it's got to be hard. I can remember the frustration of not being able to talk. Many of these children are imprisoned. There's something more inside. Those that have autism have so much to give to society. These children are just like you, just like me inside. People with learning differences need extra tools. Children with autism are no different. They just need a, a, a tool. She said, I have something I want to show you. And Renea said, hello. She told us how much she loved us. We met our daughter that day. There's something instantaneous about touchscreen technology. Every single individual has shown remarkable capacity to express thought and is shattering all of our constructs as to what you can label these children as being. I started showing him how you could move things around. He basically pushed me out of the way and he took over. It was hard to believe the depth of his intelligence. He's definitely showing his personality a lot more now. Yeah, he's a goofball. <laughs> Kayla typed for three hours. I hadn't talked to her for 15 years, so there was lots to talk about. She got through her credits. She graduated in June, so now she's in college. I want to say I'm ready to change the way people view us.